Hi, this is Michael Bruin, and this is a speech on something I am passionate about for my intro to public speaking class. So, judging by my appearance, you can tell that I like piercings. And I decided today that I'm going to talk to you about the aftercare that goes along with them, because it is the major, most important part of getting them. So, here we go, everything you need to know. In order for your piercing to properly heal and sit right, you need to uphold your hygiene. You need to maintain good health habits, like to what you eat and everything like that. Avoid any trauma and soak your piercing in a saline or class cleaning solution to get any sort of discharge off of it. As you may have noticed, the act of cleaning the piercing is only one of several af aspects that it can either help or hinder the healing process. So. You know, here's some of the things that upholding hygiene will do to help you. you know. If you keep your piercing in the environment clean and do not touch it, it's way less irritation. There's less bacteria that can get onto it. And along with that, you know, you need to properly wash your hands before you touch any of the surface area. Before handling jewelry to avoid any sort of decam contamination like that. You know. You know, this also goes along with you need to change your bedding periodically. And, you know, the towels you use in the shower and disinfect certain objects around the house you know every little germ that's around you you need to really have in mind when you have a fresh piercing people don't think about the fact that you do have an open wound in your face when you have it and it is and can be a big problem if you let it become so I have at this point five facial piercings and I have never had a problem with any of them because I take it very seriously People that are healthy heal faster than those who are run down or stressed because your first line of defense is to take care of yourself. You know, you need to get plenty of rest and eat a balanced diet of nutritious food and take supplements to bolster your ability to fight infection such as vitamin C, B, iron, zinc, and I like to add, you know, vitamin D in the, in the winter time here because it's a little fake sunshine. You know. Even something so simple as drinking enough water. Especially something with me with my newest piercing, it's an oral piercing. When you become dehydrated, your mouth becomes dry. And this can cause more irritation in your piercing because it doesn't have the natural spit lubricant going through the you know natural place it needs to be. So you need to control your water intake. If also if you ingest any sort of excessive amount of caffeine or recreational drug, it can you know, affect your blood pressure and anything along those lines that can irritate the piercing. To avoid trauma and their piercing, you need to do things along the line of, you know, resist the temptation to play with it. I know it's new and it's there, but you need to try to leave it alone. Do your best that you can to ignore it until it's fully healed. When you get it pierced, they should put in the, you know, the proper size jewelry and everything to avoid friction and minimize it as much as possible. But if they don't, you'll notice, you'll feel it. Do not ever handle your piercing roughly during cleaning or anything like that. Don't pull on it. Avoid any washcloths or anything that has a sort of a fabric loop because it could get wrapped around and cause you know to like move the towel and you pull away and you yank on it. Even things as far as like the way you put on your glasses for a nose ring, you need to be careful of that. Anything can cause trauma in a wound. It's like if you have a sunburn, you scratch it. Same thing. It's just a different area of your body. If you do not take care of your piercing and you end up with an infection, some of the signs of that are, you know, oozing body fluid that comes out, everyone's seeing the gray or green discharge that's, you know, gross from an infection, or any sort of pus or even an odor coming from it is another sign of infection. You should immediately find a doctor. Extreme heat and pain can also be another sign of infection in a wound, and again, you need to contact your healthcare provider immediately at the sign of infection to avoid any sort of risk to you personally. Um, there's many things that you should not use on a piercing just because it'll kill the healing process completely, such as alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, neosporin, or any ointment of that kind. You actually kind of want to leave them alone, let them do their own thing. As long as you're maintaining clean oral hygiene for an oral piercing, which means brushing your teeth, mouthwash, and things along those lines, you should be fine. You should have no issue. But after the initial healing period is done, a good 
clean once a day should keep the germs away and help you avoid the phenomenal sometimes called ear funk or when your piercing kind of smells. So, all in all, there is something I was passionate about. I love my piercings and I'm hoping that there's enough acceptance someday that I can be like this and also still be a professional. Have a good day.